this is a preview of the lecture video available on www.sonoshare.in on the topic trauma to the urinary tract short clippings of the various parts of the lecture will follow this is only a preview if you... grade 1 includes renal contusion with a with an end, but and also less sensitive um, 20 to 30 uh, percent a mass effect with or without a mass effect so with the history of trauma this indicates that the renafric hematoma so that is why the color doppler is useful to uh, see the compression of the renal parenchyma and the outline of the renal parenchyma so this is the appearance if the hematoma is fresh so this is um, if after a few days this is the appearance perinephric hematoma we here again you see the laceration and the perinephric hematoma but when you put on color you see the upper half of the kidney is uh, does not show any flow so that is due to segmental d shattered kidney you fail to appreciate uh, the renal outline and uh, the um, uh, I mean avulsion or thrombosis of the main renal artery now here again another case you see uh, the kidney looks normal on grayscale uh, kidney there is a perinephric uh, I mean laceration and a perinephric hematoma and uh, there is a, a cystic area in the lower pole which on color doppler shows that it is a, a pseudo on renal pelvis and at the PUJ you see uh, 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 urinoma uh, in the retro the entire uh, lumen is obliterated by uh, a submucosal hematoma uter uretric wall there is a hematoma so this can happen in trauma or it can be spontaneous uh, mild then you see here an example of polycystic kidney and one of the cysts there is mild hemorrhage seen as internal echoes the cyst can rupture uh, peritoneal which is common happens in 80 percent now intraperitoneal versus extraperitoneal the dome of the urinary bladder due to intraperitoneal rupture so extraperitoneal rupture is associated with injuries causing fracture of bladder now this is the case of extraperitoneal rupture with secondary leak into the peritoneal cavity so you see escape of fluid uh, urine from in the urethra to uh, the extraperitoneal space then we come to calyx and the urinoma with press release of the probe which can be seen on the uh, retemy there is um, uh, mild uh, hydronephrosis of the left kidney the mild uh, hydronephrosis of the ureter and uh, when you trace the ureter there is a loculated fluid collection loculated fluid collection anterior to the kidney in the right flank and uh, if you see uh, the collecting system the ureter is dilated up to the uh, collection and there seems to be a come the bladder and uh, that is abdominal scan and uh, the, the injury to the bladder was not seen and by endovaginal scan you see the bladder the bladder ascites um, general ascites and in the pouch of douglas and you see the rent in the uh, bladder wall in the posterior wall of the bladder and you can see in real time when I go laterally you see the rent the distance is more so it will be seen better so that is the, uh, the thickness of the tissues between in the vaginal scan and in transrectal scan in transrectal scan you can identify the rectum the bladder wall with the posterior vaginal wall intact and fluid um, in the lumen of the uh, vagina so that is the rent easily seen in transrectal ultrasound and when you use color doppler and press release you will see the blue and red again confirming the uh, fistulous uh, fistula is well delineated on color doppler study as well as in grayscale so in real time you see press release you see the uh, escape of uh, uh, urine with press uh, into the uh, vagina and then uh, with really uh, the various types of uh, injuries trauma to the urinary tract having gone through the preview if you wish to listen to the main lecture video go to sonoshare.in